Hello. Earlier today, I downloaded the alpha version of TextMate 2. And so far, uh, some of the stuff and changes I've seen um, is showing a very good bright spot in where TextMate um, is going. And so let me just go ahead and get right into this. So as you can see, uh, right here, the default screen, I just have an, um, a file open. Uh, this is not the default theme um, as far as the black here. Uh, I've changed that out to uh, be a theme that I, I like. So one of the things you notice right off the bat is the project window, uh, they've really gotten rid of that and it's more of just browsing your your file system than actually creating a project now before you guys get crazy you can go to folders like the master folder right click on them and make them a favorite so you can basically go to file open favorites and you can see it here and if you've had long lists it would be there and of course you could search for those if you had a lot of favorites which I eventually will so um, I guess let's go ahead and go to the preferences um, under the files tab uh, you've got basically from um, opening documents from your la last session if you hold your shift key uh, while TextMate is opening, it will bypass that. So if I were to close this, reopen it, it would open this file. But if I hold shift, it would open a blank file. Uh, new document type. Uh, not sure if that is in, uh, in version 1 of TextMate, but I do like that because uh, most of the documents I open are PHP or HTML. So I basically set the default to be PHP on blank documents. Um, skip over the projects because there's not much in there that I really use. Uh, probably should look into those, but um, just showing you that here real quick. Uh, the bundles tab. Now, bundles, if you're new to TextMate, are basically add ons or plugins to build on an already great application. So, by default, there are several bundles that are plugged in, but you can add support for other things, like I can add support for Ant, so if you want to write Ant scripts, uh, Action scripts, etc. Uh, in version 1, I had to download a bundle that did this type of work. Uh, in TextMate 2, this is now built into the tool, which is fantastic. So, as you can see here, anything that's checked is downloaded and running and will run, uh, load on application load. So, let's say I don't need this blogging uh, bundle, just uncheck it, and it says it's uninstalled. Let's say I do want to do some Ant scripting. Go ahead and check that. As you can see there, I don't know if it did that, it actually installed three different bundles uh, that were requirements based on that so it's nice it sees hey I need several bundles it checks if those are there if not it enables those as well um, so you can sort these columns actually stand corrected uh, might be a feature that's coming up might be something uh, just not ready yet uh, but because these are clickable I would assume that that feature will come in where you could sort these uh, you can kind of, they have some nice small categories here. So I can click on here and it'll only show me the testing bundles. Um, I can go into languages and that will show me the languages. And it supports the scroll, you know, so you got the scroll bar, um, you know, working very well in Lion. Variables, just like in, in, TextMate 1, you can set up variables. Software update. Uh, reason why I'm showing this tab is 
um, the keep bundles updated very nice because it's integrated now uh, it will also when it's looking for updates of the actual software itself it will look at the bundles and see if there's a new version. If so, it'll automatically update those. Uh, we have the terminal here, which uh, right now, what the top section here is for shell support. So if you wanted to, if you're browsing via the command line or the terminal, uh, like me, I'm a nerd with terminal, uh, and I see a file I need to open that I don't want to open in Vim, uh, you know, I usually type mate um, and then the name of the file. It opens up TextMate and I have a file in it. Uh, one of the nice export lines here they show you, they show you how to make this. So TextMate could be your editor for your commit messages. So if you did like git commit and hit enter, if this was set, it would open up TextMate for you to type your commit message. So kind of nice. Um, a new section that's that's here, that this is a new feature, it's called RMates. One of the things that TextMate 1 um, did not do by default was allow you to edit files remotely. Now I'm not a person that typically does this, but if you're in a situation where uh, you don't have the file and you, you can only SSH and you want to get in and do that you can remotely edit the file using the TextMate tool instead of SSHing into the box and typing vim you know index.php and do that so I can quickly show you this so I can close out of here so um, SSH into my server uh, and I'm doing an SSH tunnel at this point as that said and I already uh, moved the rmate script over. So rmate index.php goes and opens up a new window, and there's my file. So as you can see, that matches there. So I can come in and do echo title. Save like that. Come here. Out in. There it is. So it's remotely editing that, but you can use the TextMate tool instead of uh, like Vim here. So, and of course it works vice versa. So if I delete this line, write that, come over here. Well, it looks like it doesn't do it on the fly. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, works very well. Uh, so like I said, uh, down here, pretty much all the same things. Uh, under file, like I said, you now see favorites instead of projects. The You can hide the file browser. I have not played with the toggle HTML output. Um, my guess is you should be able to if you have a, just an HTML file. Um, Let's try saving that file. Let's go to desktop and we'll go test.html. 
So, um, might be something that's not ready yet uh, in the alpha. Um, but I'm guessing that this would kind of show the generated HTML uh, files, kind of like how Dreamweaver does when you have code view um, and preview. So, um, that should wrap up about, um, there's nothing more that as I've seen so far, so I think we'll just wrap this up here. Um, this tool again is beautiful. I like it. Uh, when it comes out for upgrade, I definitely will be upgrading. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, uh, please subscribe or comment. Uh, thank you.